Hi, everybody, it's FIBO Group, and you're watching to the Market Watch Review. Yesterday's U.S. losses caused the equity markets in Asia Pacific to fall. The regional decline was led by the Chinese and Hong Kong markets, which only Japan and Australia were spared. Stock 600 is stabilizing after yesterday's 1% drop thanks to a better than expected flash PMI reading. The U.S. futures are recovering around half of yesterday's losses. Today, the strongest U.S. dollar is proving to be most resistant to the Scandies. The Swiss National Bank was not affected. The weakest majors are the Japanese yen, the Swiss franc and the Antipodeans. Gold surpassed $1950 at the top of its most recent range. It could be broken, which could lead to a move towards 1962. May WTI is stable. The move above $113.35 targets 118, which is ahead of the 126 area set earlier in the month. Asian Pacific Market Japan's March PMI preliminary suggests that the third-largest economy in the world has started stabilizing, despite a COVID and natural catastrophe disrupting first-quarter growth. The dollar continues to outperform the yen. It has increased 13 times in the last 14 sessions, thanks to today's gain. The economic momentum was reflected in Australia's flash March PMI. The Australian dollar is in trouble at $0.7500 and yesterday's gains were not extended market of Europe. The flash Eurozone PMI shows that the region's economy is more resilient than anticipated to war and other economic disruptions. The PMI for aggregate manufacturing fell to 57, which is lower than the 56 median forecast. In the last three days, the euro has been in decline. The euro continues to fall between $1.0960 and $1.1045. The UK flash PMI score was mixed. The manufacturing sector slowed, but the services sector grew. Composite held up much better than expected, falling to only 59.7 from 59.9. Sterling is a completely different kettle. Yesterday it climbed to $1.33, the highest level since March 4. It settled at $1.3200, however, as it was not impressed with Sunex budget. Today, it has pulled back to 1.3155. The Swiss National Bank maintained its policy rate at minus 0.75%, as was widely expected. Market of America Today's U.S. economic calendar is busy. This day that includes the fourth quarter current account, weekly first jobless claims and durable goods orders. It also includes the flash PMI, Kansas Fed's manufacturing survey, and the fourth quarter current account. At least four Fed officials Kashkari Waller Evans Bostic will also speak. There seems to be consensus in favor of a move of 50 basis points at the May 4 FOMC meeting. Yesterday's drop in the US dollar to CAD 1.2540 was its worst performance in almost two months. Today's selling has not been followed up. That's all for me, closely monitor the news background and be prepared for all the surprises of the market.